Hi, I'm Henry James. I'm Creative Director at Invented. Uh, we're a design studio based out of Manchester and we design and develop products that look to sort of make sense of some of the big problems in the world. But when I was studying at university, I became aware of this project that I could get involved in and it was about trying to uh, design a solar light for the developing world. So it was something I was really moved by, really interested in and wanted to do. Uh, a kerosene lamp is uh, like burning a fire inside a house and giving out light. So, first of all, the quality of the light's really poor. Secondly, there have been some horror stories of uh, fires which have led to multiple deaths. So it really is a, a massive health risk and something that needs to be sorted. The first thing that anyone will tell you in design is you've got to go and speak to the people whose problem you're trying to solve. We were able also to ask people to take camera diaries so they would record their own homes and that allowed us to build a similar mock-up, a setup of that, that home environment inside a spare room that we had and we blacked out all the windows so we could take it all the way back to sort of midnight darkness. One of my favourite parts of the, uh, the process of where we were trying to understand what was needed was we, we sat in the room, in the dark room that we'd um, set out and we did a couple of tasks so we could try and understand how difficult it might be in, in low level light. We changed a bike tyre, we cooked a meal and all these things were done in um, close to pitch black and that allowed us to understand what light level was absolutely bare minimum. I think price in, in design is often sort of overlooked. So in countries, for instance, like Malawi, families might be living on a dollar, a dollar fifty a day. So you can imagine if a family's living on a dollar fifty, saving up five dollars for a product is still a big reach. It's about creating a product that people want, that they need, that solves a problem, but absolutely hits that price. We had people who wanted to use this light for, um, for reading, but we didn't necessarily know that people might want to use it as a bike light, or there was a need to sort of explore their land and see what was happening. So a light like this that could be really mobile was also something that could benefit the adults as well as the children. Now selling the products into the West, that certainly does um, provide extra revenue, which is beneficial. People have been using them for camping, people have been taking them on adventures, people's children have been using them for reading under the covers. There's something sort of quite, quite nice and personal about a small little light like that. Selling these for a slightly higher price in countries like Britain allows the, the charity to carry on its work and maintain a low cost in countries where the low cost is so important. The most important things about the design of the solar light is that it's uh, lower cost for people, it's safer than their existing light source and what's really nice is it's also much better for the environment. So I'd like you to maybe think about those three things and apply them to your daily lives and see if there are any challenges or opportunities you come up against where you can make something that might be safer, lower cost and improve the, the local environment.